how much was Saturday's goal a little bit of a, a weight off your shoulders after a bit of a lean spell? Goals are always always important for in, for strikers, you know, and confidence. So yeah, it was good to hit the back of it. It's been a bit, it had been a little while. And it was an instant kind of finish, wasn't it? Because you say they just pulled it back and we made that driving run. Yeah, he done all the well. Him and Trev done all the hard bits, you know. The easy bit for me was just to put it in, in the back of the net. And in terms of you say, you only a couple of training sessions before the game. What's your kind of initial impression of him? I think it was just the one session. You know, he's um, he's young and he's got a lot, a lot of ability. So, you know, I think I was there to see. You know, they, when he when he got it down to feet, you know, the ball ball to feet, he um, he showed what he can do. And, I'm, and I've seen more in the, the training sessions afterwards. You know, so. I think fans have got that to look forward to. And he was certainly not afraid to run, run at people and get them to try and turn and then get shots away. Yeah, he's got a lot of ability, you know. I've seen that first time on the, on the training pitch and, you know, Shrewsbury defenders will let you know the same. You know, he's a handful. So Northampton defenders might have a bit of a problem then? I think they will. I think they will. We, get, we, we give them the, the right supply and he'll do the rest, I think. With cobblers, you tend to know what they're all about at the back. Big, strong units, very functional. Um, does that help a forward going into a game, really knowing that it's a very familiar kind of setup? Well, you play, you play, if you play in League Two a couple of years, you're, you're kind of familiar with most uh, most uh, defenders because you know the sort of way that it works in League Two is that people kind of rotate between teams. And um, yes, yeah, so I would have played against the centre halves before. You know, tough centre halves like like a lot in the league, but um, definitely if you can get down to feet and with you know the ability that I feel like I have on the. On, on the deck and um, also Eusebio, if that's the two that the gaffer picks, obviously, then yeah, it, it, it could cause them problems. In terms of the selection this season, you've been the constant up front. People have been sort of in and out of the team around you. It, is that, has that made it awkward to try and get any sort of rhythm, if you like, to, to, to the front part of the side? Um, I don't think so. I think um, it's, it's, it's just something you have to deal with in football. I mean, it's, it's something that we, we dealt with quite a lot last year. And probably the year before, there wasn't like a consistent um, striker. And strikers tend to get rotated anyway. You know, that's, most people know that. Well, of, of all positions, like wingers and strikers, they tend to get rotated more than in other positions. So it's just something you got to deal with. Something I have. And why is that rotation? Do you think is it because you know if you score, you keep your place, and if if you don't, and the performance drops off a bit, well, you know, you're out. Yeah, it could it could, it could, it could be because of that. Um, I think it's just natural that you have to freshen up things in, you know, the Indian attack, in the attacking third, and um, you know, to, to to get the best from from, from all the strikers and and, and well, all the attacking players. I said to Lee about width in the team and the fact that the wing backs were providing good width at the start of the season, but our side's beginning to work that out a little bit now. The width is important to you as a front player, isn't it? It is important, and and, and we started off uh, really well with our with our wing backs getting getting really high and, and doing well, but. Wing backs just not about just the attacking. So you know the last couple of games they they might have had to do more defending, but um, that's for us to, to to work out where where we can get them in the game. And if they are getting doubled up against, you know, there's if they're being doubled up against, there's another player on the field on the field that um, that hasn't got a man. So we have to find the person in space and try to work through them. Mark said after the game at Shrewsbury that the boys were a bit sapped because of the Bristol City match, the energy it had taken out of you. Do you feel a bit fresher after a week without a midweek match? Um, yeah, I think, I, think, I think I was one of the one of the people that only played a half, so I don't think that that was uh, aimed at me as such. But I think a few of the lads were really feeling it from from the game in, in terms of the intensity of the occasion and how much effort they actually put in. So yeah, I think I think I think so. I think this this week. Um, should be fresh. We've had, a, to be fair, we've had a couple of tough sessions in in not the best weather as well. So the pitch has been, the training ground's been heavy, but surely, you know, at home we could we could show more show more energy than we did in the game. And get, get, get closer to the opposition. And you see, the sessions have not been in great weather, which I understand. But have they felt a bit sharper? Of course, no. They've been two really good sessions. You know, the intensity's been there. It's been competitive, and um, yeah, really two good sessions after a loss. You know, so it hasn't been hasn't been down this week. Great, thank you. You mentioned your sort of partnership with Eusebio. You, s you seem to sort of have an immediate understanding, which was which was quite good. I mean, sometimes it, it just happens like that, you know. Yeah. Um, I think it was more 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 himself than than, than me, you know. I kind of I kind of have the same the same role, but um, kind of need someone alongside me to maybe trouble defenders uh, with maybe speed and. Mm -hmm. 
and that and yeah, he has plenty of that and trickery and he has and he also has that. So you know, I'm not saying that that's it's gonna be me and him this weekend, yeah. but um if it is, you know, I'm sure we can we can trouble Northampton. You're certainly like it if he keeps on laying on chances like he did <laughs> last Saturday. So if he's got more assists in his in his locker, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm willing to to put them away if he. If yeah. you feel so feels the fast than me. <laughs> what, what was the initial feeling when, when, the, when the ball hit the net on, on Saturday? Was it one of just joy or one of a bit of relief that, 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 that the goals were coming back again? It's a bit of everything. I mean, I'll let you know if the goals are back again, if, <laughs> if, if I score again on the weekend. But it's, it's a bit of everything when you, when, you, when you haven't scored for a while and you, and you, and you don't know where your next goal is coming from. But um, yeah, it was, it was nice. It was nice, I won't lie. Yeah, um, the team's not been on a great run. Uh, you, you said you've not been on a great scoring run. What was the sort of determination to to turn that round? There's a big determination to turn it around in the team. I don't. I don't think we've been. Uh, it's, it's small margins. We're not. We're not far off. We're not far off of what we what we was doing early, early season. It's just it's hard work and a, and a bit of luck on our on, on our occasion. I mean, we we kind of slipped back. Probably Saturday was the first time we slipped into mm -hmm. you know conceding the goal and conceding one straight afterwards. You know. And that's just not got to do any, anything with just the defence, that's just like a, a game management from the team in itself.